What's going on, Shababs? We're here about my favorite ornament in the whole city. I love Gaza. Obviously, if you've seen Gaza in the headlines, it's all about wars, a year-long massacre, and a siege. But it's not all doom and gloom here in Gaza. We're spending the day to show you the best five things to do and the best five places to go while you're here. I'm standing by the beautiful coastline here in the central port of Gaza. Let me show you what you do when you come here. So things to do while you're at the port. Well, the first one, obviously, is to fish. Many people come here in the afternoon, they sit around the rocks and they wait patiently to catch something nice. Others take the boat to enjoy the magnificent landscape of Gaza. And if you look here at a distance, is the magical Hasseina Mosque. And when the Aden goes, which is the Muslim prayers, there's an amazing sense of tranquility and harmony that presides around the port. And finally, a little cheeky one, most people come here if they want a little romantic date. You bring your date, you take her here by the rocks and you enjoy some quiet time. تنص المادة 143 من القانون المدني الفلسطيني على إنه This is way too complicated, a law book. We're in the middle of the Islamic University of Gaza, a center of knowledge and power here in this beautiful city. This is called the Jerusalem building outside here. And yeah, so if you want to come have some quiet time, maybe read a book, drink a cup of tea, the Islamic University of Gaza is definitely a place to go. Little observation though, this fountain doesn't work. Please somebody fix the fountain. Look at this brother. I know he looks like he's from Norway, but he's Palestinian. And I'm from Palestine. Palestine? Tell me, Allah. 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 Tell me, Allah. Tell me, Allah. I'm from Norway, but I'm from Palestine. Nice, nice, nice. What are you studying? The law. 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 He he's got a first class distinction, but he doesn't want to talk. He doesn't want to talk. He doesn't want to talent, 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 talent. من أحرى وأروع وأجمل الجامعات في العالم. في العالم؟ في العالم. طب قول لي كده إحنا في ناس بتفرج علينا من أكسفورد وكامبريدج بقى لهم إن الجامعة أحلى من. لا الجامعة أحلى. جامعة أحلى؟ You beautiful, very very beautiful. أيوة. أيوة أيوة أيوة. We're here on the famous olive tree in the Islamic University of Gaza. It's not an olive tree and it's not famous, but we're gonna make it famous, baby. Here, man, I really remember my university days. There's people, people drawing and leaving little marks and their names on the tree. You know what I mean? So cute, so cute. And now, for the Superman move. Ooh. Gaza, do you love me? Are you riding? Ayo! We're about to go to the British graveyard. I know, sounds very, very weird, but it's really, really cool. Let's go. Yalla, you safe. Welcome to the Gaza War Cemetery. So the story here is that basically, British officers who died in World War I, or the Great War as it's referred to, from 1914 to 1918 are buried over here. So actually, most of the tombstones here specify the number, rank, and name of the soldier who died. So it says here, 203908, Private J.T. Brinden, North Folk Regiment, 2nd November, 1917. Now, it's not only British soldiers who were buried here, but also members of the Allied forces who fought together in the war. The British government actually owns this land and pays the officials that take care of these graveyards. But a very cool fact about this that sort of reflects the cool history of Palestine is that it's not only Allied forces who were buried here, but also Egyptian and Ottoman soldiers who fought against the Allies. Let me show you because they're buried in a separate place at the distance. Now, this section is very different than the one we just saw because everyone here is buried as a group. If you look, it says, to the honor of the following men of the Egyptian Labor Corps who were buried near the spot. 184 soldiers of the Turkish army whose names are unknown. Which is crazy, right? Because it's the same dates, 1914 to 1918. It's the same cemetery, but it's a completely different story. Almost opposite sides of the same coin. So this cemetery, is close to a very densely populated area. So many Gazans, when you see them roaming around, are just here to find some peace and quiet. And it's actually my first time visiting here, and it's been a very educating experience. But what I can say is, say no to colonialism, sire. Arab money, Arab money. 
Obviously, I'm not Buster Rhymes, we don't have Arab money, we're not in Dubai, but we're in the golden market of Gaza where you come here to get your bling bling and look fresh. Let's come and see. Standing out of Yes's Gold Shop, a very old shop here in the Golden Market. We're gonna go inside, speak to the owner, and see what he says about the stuff. Is my guy? Yes, sir. Habu. Yes, sir. Habu. Thank you, Dad. 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 الوشات حاجات زي كده بس يعني ممكن جميلة دي جميلة very nice man مش للرجال لا 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 العروسة ده العروسة اه بس كده ادعي لنا كده نتجوز انت يعني لسه مش متجوز لا لسه مش متأهل يعني لا لا متأهل انا بس انا بنوي بس انت فاهم يعني اه والله نيتي محتاجين دولارات والله صعبة نيتي صعبة نيتي حبيبي حاج ادعي لنا انت بس حاج ربنا ياخد بيدك حبيبي المهم تكون عندك يعني الامور ماشية كويس الامور ماشية يعني فلوس يعني لا الناحية لا الناحية الثانية لا كله ماشي so, if you're looking to come and buy something for your love partner, spend that Arab money. Come, yes, at Habub's place. He has everything that you need. Like you see here, beautiful necklaces, beautiful rings, chains, everything that you want. Check it in, go. So it's around five o'clock here. This is it from the Golden Alleyway in Gaza. We showed you some of the stuff, showed you the nicest shop in the street, and now we're gonna take you to an amazing place with an amazing view to finish off the day. Like I promised, a beautiful place with a beautiful view. And the tree that I'm sitting on, for real now, is actually the most famous tree in the whole of Gaza. This is the Tel El Muntar area. From here, you can see all of the city. And if you stand over there, you can even see the sea and Israel on the other side. Now it's getting a bit chilly, so it's coming to an end of a beautiful day here in Gaza. Of course, there's many more places to go and many more things to do. We picked our favorite five. Let us know what your favorite five places are. And like my boss says, it's time for me to be quiet now and show you some drone things. <laughs>